Hello guys, and today we will be showing off the Foxbat Mark 1. Here it is. Uh, most of you guys will say it looks nothing like it in real life. Well, I couldn't really do anything about that. You're right, it doesn't look like it at all. But it does have two engines, fairly close to its side. It has wings like this. It does have wings like this. What, what is that called exactly? Stand and cannon, yes. And it, it does go pretty fast. This is pretty much just like an average jet, <laughs> ironically. We have we have rocket fuel, structural fuselage, structural fuselage, fuselage. And that's it. Let's test it out. Full throttle. Or maybe just yeah, not full throttle, let's get this fast. Okay, good. Now I'm not sure if these two th parts actually go well together. Someone will have to tell me about that. But if it does go well then huh, it's all good. Let's try and lift up. Alright, not bad. Yeah, it's easy to lift up. It almost got us there. But what is that down there? Yep, that's another part of our jets left over. We're going good. Uh, let's retract these wheels. Sorry for the bad terminology, guys. I'm not an expert. <laughs> let's try and lift up. We're going pretty fast. Oh. Alright. Uh, we did a backflip. Come on, balance out, please. Balance out. Full throttle. Come on. Don't let me down. Good. Stay there. Right. Good. All right. Let's balance out. In the middle. With the B in the ninety. I always go along the ninety. It's what I like to do, the easiest thing. And I think this very location is the middle of Kerbin. Like, the very middle. Because when we go in orbit, it looks fairly straight. <laughs> Slightly overheating. What I noticed is, the more weight you have here, the more, you know, yellowish these engines go and the more airflow they actually get. I, I don't get how that works. It's pretty unusual and then they also overheat like crazy. We're going good right now. 364. Let's try and balance out. Ah, uh, we're still going up. Pretty soon we're just gonna fall straight back down. But what I'll do is at this very altitude on the top of the screen I'll try and make this thing go flat along and make sure to stay it stays on that altitude the fuel is going good see look rocket fuel lasts forever with these engines forever this thing will take me pretty fast and on the map I've made it all the way here with it, with a normal jet engine from here to down here. So, yeah. Quick M. Good. We're falling down pretty fast. Let's try and get this thing to make sure it doesn't fall down. Look at this long line. Awesome. Hmm. And we're slowing down. We're still going. Damn, that's not good. What's up? Uh, Alright. Gotta make sure we go a bit more higher. Let's just try to blank this out now. There. Stay there. Alright, this will take us up. And yeah, looks good. It's 
I want these engines to be at maximum airflow. If they're not, then they won't go as fast as, as they can. Increasing. Come on, Bill. Be happy. Billy. Oh, we're falling. Hey, we're going 600 meters per second. Good. Uh, yeah, this altitude is pretty good altitude. Just look at that. Alright, that's good. Yeah, we're going good. Uh, we need to increase our that a bit. Alright, yeah, we're going good. We should stop falling and start going up pretty soon. Otherwise, it, it's, it's good. Nice. Let's see where we're on the map. Whoa. Yeah, we went pretty far. In another episode, I will show you a, a jet that will be able to go all the way down here. Now, there's this uh, guy on YouTube. His name is uh, Kurt. Kermadge something, I don't really know his name off by heart. He actually managed to go to the North Pole. It took him ages and he was going, what, maximum 200 meters per second? I don't know, 100%. But when I was going from here to down there, I was going 700 meters per second. It was faster and pretty awesome. So. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you guys one day the jet that actually did that. And, uh, I will beat Kurt. <laughs> Poor guy. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's it. I'm still trying to balance out. Make sure this thing goes more than 600 meters per second. I know with four engines you can go 700. going alright. So let's make sure these things are more balanced out. Let's go there. Oh, the airflow is not as good as it could be. Until now. <laughs> 623 meters per second. That's the maximum we can go. Good enough. Well, it's going to take a while. I don't think we will find land. The Actually, we might. This fuel is going down really slowly. Yeah. Halfway. Uh, how much fuel have you used? Yeah. Yeah, we'll make it. Uh, as soon as I reach down here sometime, I'll call you guys again. Be right back. Well, um, that took a bit of time. We are at right here. Land is right here, and we have spotted land. So land ho. <laughs> now at, at this very angle, I've went up and up to then fell, then up again, then fell. So I think <laughs> that's interesting. It works, and I've been going quite fast. Stay right there. The fuel is going really good. I mean, rocket fuel. You can't beat it. <laughs> Look, I've just made it this far. If I had more rocket fuel, I'll put it went probably around here with two extra engines. Then, if I had another rocket fuel with another two extra engines, six engines, could have went up to here. Because I know. Four engines take you 700 meters per second, and I've went maximum 781 meters per second with quite a few engines. I don't know how many it was. That was good. Ah, almost there. Come on, take you in your time. Well, I'll be back when we have almost landed. 
Okay, guys. Um, on the map, we actually went further than expected. I decided to just see how much fuel we could use up. And right now, I wanted to go down in altitude. So I, I've done this deliberately. There are mountains and hills and other things that will kill us. But I guess we can have a nice, nice view. So let's, let's just... Shit. Come on, don't stuff on me now. Oh, come on. Why is this happening? Stay there. Whatever, stay there. But what I noticed is when you change something, so jeez. Oh whatever, let's just use up the damn fuel. Yeah, when when you change position even once, it really is dangerous. This is good. Come on, don't die. All right, fuel's gone. Try and land on these hills. <laughs> oh, come on. No, don't do this. <laughs> uh, Alright, good. Whoa, we're gonna crash. Oh, uh, not again. What is this? Whoa. <laughs> B, B, B for brakes. Oh. Come on. No. <laughs> what the hell is that doing there? <laughs> oh, I wanted to survive. And I'm just going to blame the hill. <laughs> yep, the hill was on a slight curve. So, it, it was a bit glitchy. You guys could see the wheels actually were digging inside this into the soil. But we, it's quite it's quite a nice spot actually. We just passed over the mountain, so let's see where we are on the map. Pretty good. Went far. Two engines. One r rocket fuel. Not bad. Very far. I mean, if you had another piece of rocket fuel, go down. You probably go down here easily. Very nice. What? Oh, all right. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. Um, hope you like it. If you have any other ideas for me, anything, any jets, rockets, anything, just write it down in the comments, and I, I might make it. All right. Well, see you guys.